So, hello, here I go, back on the scene. Hey, listen, I know it's been a while. I'm excited to be back. I had to get one in, man. Um, I want to touch on these dogs, man. It's like high crime, kidnapping. Um, everybody's getting laid down. I don't know nobody that got away with these dogs. I mean, I understand it's expensive. They're uh, French Bulldogs or Frenchies. There's a, uh, what is that, Merles. They come from a certain uh, background. Uh, I mean, you gotta just check this out, man. This is crazy. People are laying people whole family down to get these dogs. Well, check this out. 27-year-old Las Vegas man is behind bars tonight for stealing two French bulldogs at gunpoint from a pregnant woman in Studio City. And my man is a part of Las Vegas, pulled a gun out on this woman. And she's pregnant for these damn dogs. I can't stand it. Police tracked down the suspect after he used the phone that belonged to a man he met on a dating site to call the victim and ask for <laughs> This fool pulled the gun out on this woman, took the dog, but he met somebody on a dating app and used their phone to call the woman back for ransom. A thousand dollars for each dog. This fool crazy. Hold on, let's listen to that one more time. <laughs> Called the victim and asked for a thousand dollar ransom. Hold on. And on a dating site. Called the victim and <laughs> used the phone that belonged to a man he met on a dating site to call the victim and ask for a thousand dollar ransom. Suspect's date heard that ransom call and contacted police. Detectives say when the suspect did not receive. I understand. It's a business, and these dogs are expensive, and the process and everything to breed them. You know, I, I heard that when you breed the dogs, or, or once you get whoever, the, the, the uh, female, she gets pregnant or whatever, there's a process, she can't just have labor and the dogs come out, nah, she has to, they have to go up in them, cut her out, cut the dogs out, and they gotta nurture them, you know, in the incubator or whatever. But it's just so crazy, man, people are going through all of this stuff. Well, let's check this out. Hi, Cher. Hi, Pedro. Yeah, he's not just any dog. Ben, the French bulldog, is like a Sanchez family. So you could imagine crazy, how heartbroken man. they were to find out that he had been stolen from their. Oh man, that's just that, that's horrible. But this right here, here's another one though. And, and demanded the dogs be handed over. Seems like a late night to have your dogs out, but truly on the weekends, this is a popular place, and there were plenty of people out here on the bridge. The allure over the 6th Street Bridge all lit up has become a regular attraction. Come on, man. Get this here. This is actually my first time walking Rhino, and I just like the way it looks at night. Sam. And this dude said this is his first time out here in, in, in Los Angeles, downtown Los Angeles, just walking his dog. You know, lost your rabbit ass mind over this bridge. The newly remodeled viaduct has also <laughs> become a target for street crime. From sideshows to car to car chaos, and now robbery at gunpoint pulled up um, in front of us on the side of the street. The man began demanding the two walking along the... This dude got two Frenchies walking that night over this 6th Street Bridge. It's become a circus out there over a new bridge near downtown or in downtown. It's crazy. He won't walk his expensive-ass dogs out there. Bridge to hand over their beloved French <laughs> Bulldogs. My friend was trying to, like, do something. I just kept telling her it's not worth it. It's let them take the dogs. It's just not worth it, you know. He just grabbed the dogs, picked them up. The friends frightened and now... Listen, man, it's not worth it, man, to lose your life over these dogs right here. Man, I understand high price ticket or whatever, man. And forget these damn dogs. Man, get yourself a poodle. Hey, man, get Jizzle a poodle, man. They're going to look right past me. Be like, man, the hell with him. He got a poodle. It don't matter what dog it is. He's, matter of fact, get a pit bull. Get Jizzle a pit bull, man. Bite the hell out of somebody. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, man, it doesn't matter what type of dog you have. Man, I'm still going to knock the broad with the dog. The female likes the dog. <laughs> Uh, even though the woman says they don't like a dog, but they really like the dogs. <laughs> Stated, do not want to be identified, but are begging for the public's crazy, help man. to find four-year-old Rhino and two-year-old named Blue Sky. Man, go on and help them find Rhino and Blue Sky, man. There's multiple stories like this. It's just sad. You know, I... Man, don't lose your life over these dogs, man. But if you choose to get one, get one, protect yourself. Or know and be aware and alert of your surroundings. Make right decisions. Man, keep their ass in the house, man. That shit's crazy. But yeah, I just want to bring something to you, man. Um, I appreciate y'all following live and myself, Jizzle. That messed you up, huh? <laughs> and um, like, subscribe, and go on and hit the Venmo and Cash app there for us, and uh, keep us in the loop. You know we pro life here, Jizzo.